but it hollowed out the social fabric. You can think of it like this. I mean, if you think about, um, we were sold a bill of goods in the 1990s with NAFTA. We said, hey, we're gonna, um, NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement, we're gonna outsource all of our manufacturing to these developing countries, China, you know, Southeast Asia, and we're gonna get this abundance. We're gonna get all these cheap goods and it'll create this world of abundance. Well, all of us will be better off. But what did that do? Well, we did get all these cheap goods. You can go to Walmart and go to Amazon and things are unbelievably cheap, but it hollowed out the social fabric. And the median worker is not seeing upward mobility. In fact, people feel more pessimistic about that than, than ever. And people can't buy their own homes. And all of this is because we did get the cheap goods, but we lost the well-paying jobs for everybody in the middle class. And AI is like another version of NAFTA. It's like NAFTA 2.0, except instead of China appearing on the world stage who will do the manufacturing labor for cheap, suddenly this country of geniuses in a data center created by AI appears on the world stage. And it will do all of the cognitive labor in the economy for less than minimum wage. And we're being sold a, a same story. This is gonna create abundance for all, but it's creating abundance in the same way that the last round created abundance. It did create cheap goods, but it also undermined the way that the social fabric works and created mass populism in democracies all around the world.